Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of GBP USD. So, if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. <coughs> my dear friends, I'm not well. Uh, that's why my energy is very low today. Probably you have already guessed that I am low in energy. <laughs> Anyways, the market has opened uh, the chart of GBP USD in front of us, and you can see that after the market opening, there is not much buying power we can see on the market. So, the selling pressure or the dominance of sellers is still there. Yes, though market has formed a small green candle here, but you can see that the previous candle was a um, was a red candle with price rejection from above. It looks like it looks like a hammer pet sorry shooting star pattern hmm. so selling pressure is still there on the chart of GBP USD okay and if you look at the chart of DXY here then you can see that DXY is also not uh, moving correctly nor giving us any proper direction just keep in mind 94.50 is the resistance for DXY US dollar if it reverses then well and good if you want a detailed analysis of G, uh, the GBP USD, please watch the video that I uploaded on Saturday. Okay, so today I'll be just telling you after the market opening what should be a strategy, and and as the chart has not changed much, so your strategy still remains the same. Okay, so if market goes up from here, if you're looking for the safest trading opportunity, then if market goes up from here and reverses from this trend line, you can take a sell position at the trend line. Okay, this is your safest trading opportunity. On the other hand, if market comes down and bounces from the support level of 1.3410, you can also take a buy position from this level. This can be a, also a very safe trading opportunity for you. But as you can see that right now, the trend of the market is towards the downside. So do not expect a huge uptrend if you take a buy position at the support level here. What you can do is that you can exit after 50 pips, 40 pips, that, huh, that is also well and good. And on the other hand, if you are thinking for a quick opportunity in the market, then I think that the, the only quick opportun opportunity that can uh, come to us is the Fibonacci level of 1.3518 level. This is a, you can see that Fibonacci retracement level here. So in case market goes up and reverses from this particular level, then you can take a sell position and why i'm telling about sell because the trend of the market is towards the downside and as we all know trend is the most important thing in the market so as a result you can take a sell position if market goes up and reverses from 1.3518 1 1.3518 okay so these are the trading opportunities that i see on a chart of gbp usd right now so if you're looking for a safe trading opportunities then if market goes up and reverses from this trend line you can take a sell position if market goes down and bounces from this uh, support of 1.3410 you can take a buy position and on the other hand <coughs> if market goes up and reverses from the Fibonacci 20 uh, in this level 1.1.35 uh, level 1.18 level this level you can also take a sell position but keep in mind that in comparison to this level and this level this is a risky level okay so beginners and new traders you can avoid taking a trade here so whatever you do my dear friends please follow follow proper risk management because see this is my analysis i can be wrong as well so bye bye take care see you tomorrow